you know the more reviews i do the more baffled i become because uh, for me there is a definite way and a decision to make to try and make this game a little bit easier we all know clubs don't do it themselves yet let's state the obvious but when the difference between a good and bad shot with what we've done today with a three iron or a five wood is massively different and i still can't get my head around why so many golfers want to make this game as hard as possible i'm baffled i'm probably in that category as well don't get me wrong i ain't calling people i'm just saying we make life difficult i reckon If you ever want proof that it's the first shot I've ever hit on camera, or with the club, never mind on camera, there's a wrapper coming off. Right, let's get started. What I want to do with this review is simple. I want to have a look at, yet yeah, well, we are going to review the performance of the ST200 5 wood. But maybe a bit more than that, I want to look at how this 5 wood, or a 5 wood, could play a major part in most average golfers bags because i think that it's a big tool that we're potentially missing out on let's try that again so let's go a little bit straighter in terms of our line and that one his ball flight is awesome and that's just going to stay on that right hand side of the fairway That's a golf shot. Right, three balls in, three five woods. Happy days, as they say. Let's see how this thing does. Now this stage I do have a question for you, and that question is how many of you have actually got a five wood in the bag? And if you haven't got one, why not? What is it? Because the interesting bit for me is when a manufacturer sends out clubs for me to test, they always send driver and three wood. You never get a fairway wood in terms of a five, and that sort of says to me, what is being sold out there in terms of from a manufacturer's perspective but i think it's a real interesting one and uh, for some reason we definitely ignore these clubs the first point to mention three tee shots off of what is a par five here at um, conway one landed middle of the fairway, one was in the uh, first cut on the right and one on the opposite side of the left and it was just about again making that adjustability the third ball that I hit was the one that I got down the middle so let's see if that continues. All equidistance in terms of where they travelled and all had a very similar ball flight as well. Big thing for me about the likes of a five wood is that I think so many of us average golfers myself included ignore putting it in the bag but it's a powerful tool it does plenty in terms of distance it's got get great ball flight and i always think i like par fours where it's very tight do i want to be grabbing out a driver or would i be more comfortable with a shorter length shaft that head profile loft bit more control with the likes of a five wood and i think the answer for most of us would be let's go to the five wood but then you've got the versatility of being able to play maybe and we'll see shots from the fairway just a little bit easier just presenting that loft at address, just like I said, it's no, like three wood you sit here and you're just a little bit maybe negative towards what you're face down at. It's a stunning looking club and we'll talk about that very shortly, but what a great looking club. That's done okay, but that really came off the bottom. It's chased down there, maybe a little bit tentative. We'll try another. Well, you pick the ball flight up, but very low. And like I said, not the most committed of strikes from me. Let's try that again. Come on, and let's give this one a bit of a, a bit of a rip. That's the ball. That ball flight is insane. In fact, to a degree where the one thing you're going to question is depending on where you play, that could actually be a bit too high in certain instances. And if we were playing on a normal day down here at Conway Golf Club is that ball flight gonna hover a little bit and that's a debate about whether or not 
not only do you play a five wood, but what type of courses do you play and how you mix that bag up. But in terms of performance, what this does so far, in only five shots in, I use this word a lot of late, it's a weapon. And a weapon that I think a few more of us should have in the bag. I'm gonna give it one more. Oh, wow. That ball has absolutely fired out. That's not far short of the green into on a par five. The next thing I want to talk about is the options we've got in terms of not playing a five wood. What are the options in terms of what we carry? Well, there's probably hybrid equivalents that we get in terms of loft. This is 18 degrees on this five wood. You can certainly knock a hybrid down, a three hybrid, and maybe a two hybrid even. The difference with them is obviously there's less mass, there's less ability to push that CG back and it will definitely perform in a very different way than the five wood would. And then obviously you've got the old three iron. This three iron that I've got in my hand is lofted at 19 degrees and the difference is all about ball flight, all about performance and all about effort that's required really to get this ball in play from a totally different golf club. We'll just wait for our uh, green staff to go past and uh, we'll carry on with this one. Now, whenever I do a review, I try to not talk about my own personal preference, but also look at the kind of mass majority on what you'd like. Now, for me, you put those two clubs behind the ball and I think the vast majority are going to choose five wood over three iron. It's a bit of a no brainer. And yet there are players where the three iron is more suited, the ability to flight the ball a bit differently, maybe even playing it out here on a Lynx course at Conway, then it's a more preferable choice. But I'm talking about the masses here. And for me so far, that's a no brainer. <clears throat> Let's try another one off the tee. Right, so this hole, 16 at Conway, it's a tight one. And you want to have confidence, you want to have a club in hand that get you far enough down there. It's not driver, it's not three wood. You'd play, like I said, a long iron. But you want to hit something that you've got a bit of control with you. You can confidently hit the shape. Oh, ripped it. Maybe just a tad too much cut on that. But it'll be plenty enough carry to be right the way down there and in play. It's a real interesting, like I said, club for me. The performance, let's talk about, I mean, I've not really... I've talked about five woods as opposed to the ST200. This ball fires out, hopefully ball flight from behind there. You can see the kind of um, ball flight. It's not only, I mean, the interesting thing with me, I don't never like a ball that sort of gets up there and floats. This ball is going forward and we can sort of see, this is a 210, 215 club. It pops the ball maybe a little bit further in terms of carry. It's gonna pop that ball up there and it's gonna come down. It ain't gonna roll a great deal either. So it's, uh, you can see from what happens out here what this club will do. Set this out a little bit wider. Again, just perhaps it's lower ball flight. They're going to end up almost identical in terms of where they finished. I think the second strike was the more telling one. Again, I've hit two balls that have been slightly off the bottom grooves. If you do that with a three iron in hand, then you ain't going nowhere, believe me. That's not going to do anything like what that has just done and what we did with the previous one off the deck. So the amount of performance benefits, I think that's what you've got to look at and far outweigh that than what can offer in terms of alternate clubs in the bag. In terms of the ST200, I think it's an absolute weapon. Right, last couple of things I just want to talk about um, is how this thing is put together and how it looks. And I think one thing that Mizuno have done in uh, this last release and last year's as well, they've upped their game massively in terms of A, how this product looks in terms of its quality of finish. I even like this kind of head cover they've put together. They've toned down the colorings for me. Again, I didn't like the sort of blue efforts that they produced in previous years. I really like this kind of classic look. In terms of the shaping and profile of this particular five wood, again, looks superb, proper. Like I said, traditional, what I would call in terms of its looks, that carbon imprint crown, again, which we see a lot now, looks really, really well indeed. And from the bottom, in terms of shelf uh, appeal, it does a great job. I'm not going to talk about technical specs and what it claims to do, because it claims to do everything really that we've sort of seen and heard many times before. But the thing is, it does deliver. What I've seen so far, what I've hit, and I, I've, it's done exactly what you'd hope it to do with a lot of consistency and for me like I said yet yeah, the product is superb but the other thing to consider is the other side of this video which is the five wood 
as an alternative club in the bag and why more average golfers haven't got one in? That's the big question for me. I'm going to finish with the ultimate question, which is if you can put a ball down on 17 at Conway and find a fairway, it's one to put in the bag. And again, from this forward tee, it wouldn't be, uh, I wouldn't be playing a five wood. Oh, it's a keeper. Oh, hang on, it's just, it's dicing with the edge. Sit down. <laughs> I don't know whether that picked it up on the back camera. It just dice with the left hand side, but it's in play. Like I said, it's not the club to be playing. But again, slightly off the bottom that ball. And if anything, this club has done, it's almost impressed me more when I haven't got it bang out the middle because what it's still done is got some great performance out of it. And often I think that is a mark of whether a club is any good or not. And can it be of uh, this idea of what is forgiveness? Um, you know, what are sort of these ball speeds across the club face? What does that mean? Well, I think it's meant that on the three shots that I've played in amongst what I've done, I've hit three very much out the bottom grooves and the ball has still traveled and it's still got to places that it had no right to be. So for me, big thumbs up in terms of the five wood in the bag, big thumbs up for the ST200 uh, from Mizuno as one of those options to put in a bag as well. So really impressed, gotta say. Mizuno, you're doing a fantastic job right now. Not that you need to hear that from me.